Okay, quick audio check, just a quick check. One, two, three. See if I talk a little softer. We good, we good. morning good afternoon hi rainy thank you for coming in um it's been a while i think the last time i was live was like a week and a half ago i think i played mario kart like i i don't want to say big things are coming because that's not true <laughs> but i definitely i think having a more rigid structure with like playing games on certain days was very restricting so i think i'm going to change that um, I'm trying to think of ideas for, like, just chatting streams, because, like, I have ideas, it's just, it's hard to decide what will make a good stream when you compare to what will make, like, a better YouTube video, because I want to put more time into editing, so if anybody has ideas, I have one banger idea that I have for Valentine's Day. I'm not gonna leak it, but it's, it's gonna be good, I promise. Um, goal is to hit affiliate by then so i can farm some subs let's be honest but yeah it's been a bit so plan for today is to catch up on stardew valley because we haven't touched it in a bit um let's see we're heading into day one of summer i know last time i played i had big brain and i prepped all my seeds and shit so like i actually did something right for one so we're not gonna be like scrambling all day. <laughs> I also figured out how to connect my headphones to my TV. So I can, it's actually really nice because I have a nice Samsung TV and you can connect any Bluetooth speaker or like earphones or headset to it. But sad thing, <laughs> um, my earphones broke, like my left side, because right now I just have the right side in the, um, what you call it, it doesn't charge and it doesn't connect at all. So I spent like <laughs> all my money. I still have, I have like two hundo right now. Um, but I, it was nice because I have Raycons not sponsored. Loki bought Raycons because some YouTubers were sponsored by Raycon. I love your sweater. Yeah, it's Teddy Fresh. If anyone is familiar with H3H3 H3 Productions or a podcast, 
where it's teddy fresh i'll text you the link later Rini, but it's teddy fresh i don't know if they have this design in stock right now because this one this is a design they'll bring back in stock because they do like monthly or like every month and a half they'll do drops they're youtubers or not <laughs> but like their clothing is really nice it's a bit higher price point but it's really like not boho, but it's like street fashion kind of. Really artsy, very colorful, very bright. I like it a lot. Some of the designs are um, a bit extra for me, but you know, one day I'll pull it off. I think this one, because I think for this design they had it in gray, so like gray, medium gray, and then black. And I think they also had a blue version, but I like this one because like just soft pastels. I'm trying to get used to wearing or lighter colors. I like this one. Yeah, I love this one too. <laughs> um, because they have like men's sizes or like neutral. And then they have women's sizes for some items. But I'm trying to get used to wearing lighter colors because for the longest time I didn't wear light. I need to check the weekly mission. Okay, we need to stop what we're doing <laughs> and check our weekly mission. Um, I used to not wear lighter colors a lot because I don't... Cause like I'm medium skin tone, I'm not too light, not too dark. My mom told me yesterday that I was like a bit too dark, which I don't know where she got that from because I literally don't go outside. Um, <laughs> cause like I don't, I like how lighter colors look. It's just it makes my skin look really dark, which which sounds bad. I know it sounds bad, but it's just like uh, I'm digging myself in a hole right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, doesn't sound bad like a glow. Yeah, I guess you're right. R Rainy's trying to save me right now. She doesn't want me to get canceled. <laughs> um, uh, let's do the Pierre one. That way we can just focus on grinding this first week and not worried about missions, let's be honest. But uh, Teddy Fresh, they have this really nice, like, patchworky. Um, sweater it had a women so I didn't buy it because women's sizes is kind of sus like, they said if you're buying women's sizes to go a size up when you're comparing it to the men's sizes and it was this really nice cute pink and blue pastel -y patchwork sweater it was like $150 and I was like I don't have that kind of money right now dude what the fuck am I doing um but yeah, I wear this sweater a lot. I, w I got so mad the other day. Or this was like almost two weeks ago because for my sister's birthday, she said all she said, all she wanted was cupcakes and to go out for dim sum. But, you know, we don't want to get COVID. So we didn't go out to eat. Huh. Um, so she, I made her some cupcakes. I actually posted it on Twitter because she turned 21 and 21 is like legit our favorite meme. So I made her some cupcakes. It was just box mix, so nothing too fancy. Because baking is, like, the hardest thing. Like, actually. I I can bake cake fine from scratch, but cookies, no shot. It's so hard to do cookies, right? But I made her some cupcakes. I asked, I iced them really cute. Like, pink frosting, pink sprinkles. She's not... She's kind of masked, so, like, she doesn't like pink too much. She just liked the pink cake mix. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Wrong button. But I put 10 plus 9. Because, you know, the funny meme, not, what's 9 plus 10? 21, you know? But I put not 10 plus 9. And when she got home, she's like, you did it wrong. And I was like, oh no, you're right. <laughs> but, because, like, I made mini cupcakes. And I wish I made regular size cupcakes because the mini cupcakes are really dry, fortunately. I mean, they were still good. You can pop them in. You need, like, five of them and feel bad about yourself but they were really dry i just put a boatload of frosting on all of them i love cupcakes yeah i love them too like there's this nice uh, cupcake shop that's like a block away from my house and it's actually really bad <laughs> because they're like big ass cupcakes and they all have like sweet buttercream frosting on every single one of their cupcakes and they have so many nice flavors, like they had pink champagne, they have like vanilla chocolate, obviously. They have birthday cake, they have like lots of fruit flavored cupcakes. 
I'm a sucker for anything food flavored. And they have daily flavors, so you, you have to go every day, you know, to try out the flavors. <laughs> okay, let's see. I need to buy seeds. Oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid, dude. See, I don't stream for a week and a half. This is what happens. Oh my god. I understand. Oh yeah, so their cupcakes are really good. Like, really good. But they're like three four dollars each which is insane so yeah i i don't go there every day anymore <laughs> anymore <laughs> i never went there every day <laughs> but what's nice is with that one shop because it's a block away i can get delivery for free pretty paw you know i have a lot of money like a lot of money. I did not realize I had 50k. Receipts and reviews. My TikToks have been doing very well. Yeah, I'm honestly really happy. Um, I'm not too concerned about. Yeah, I need lots of radishes. I'm not too concerned about like my follower account because like to me. Oh fuck! Why did I buy so many? Let's <laughs> buy a few poppy seeds. <laughs> um, because honestly. Ooh, red cabbage. I need these. What was I saying? I'd rather have... Because the hopes with the TikTok is to get people from there to stream, which I know is very difficult. Just getting people to cross or change platforms is very difficult. And also, the type of content you see on TikTok is really different than what you see on stream. Because short form is totally... I say this every fucking time I talk about TikTok. But, like, it's totally different. Like, the engagement, like, the intention level you have to maintain on stream is totally different from... Then. But I'm honestly, I think I know how to like farm the algorithm a little bit. I don't farm too much because like I don't post like too baby content because like I think it's kind of cringe. I say this literally every time, but cringe to each their own. But like I'm not gonna be posting like thirst traps. I'm I'm sure someone. No, okay, I should. <laughs> Watch what I say here. I'm sure some people will like that content, is what I will say. But not that's not what I'm gonna go for, you know what I mean? Post the thirst traps. No. <laughs> oh. I spelled it wrong twice, really. Good one. Um, because like I know I like the thirst trappy content a lot. Mainly because like this is gonna sound weird, but I really appreciate or like admire like human anatomy a lot <clears throat> because like I'm in art school, so like I study anatomy and shit. So it's really nice seeing like different body types that type of thing, especially on TikTok where like body positivity is pretty good for the most part. I mean, there is some like bad areas of TikTok, but for the most part, it's pretty like open. You know what I mean? You get to see lots of different people, lots of different body types with the thirst trappy stuff, which I like sometimes. I, I'm just admiring, you know. I don't I don't totally download and save for later. Um <laughs> See, I haven't like been on stream for a hot minute, so oh, let's put out these melons first and Yeah, I think that's the Plus size thirst traps make me happy. Oh yeah, for sure. Cause like I know for me, um, I like a little bit of chub. You know, like I personally really like my body type. I'm short, oh, chubby, <laughs> but that's like the type I personally am attracted to. So I'm just like, whenever I see like a slightly chubby girl, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> um, what I can say, <clears throat> but I think. We can start going into resolutions. I don't know. I have a list, or I pulled up an, an article from Parade. Yeah, Parade. Yana, hey! Hola! <laughs> Como esta? Happy New Year, man. Thank you for coming in. Hope we're doing well. It's been a bit. I've basically been in bed, like, all day, every day. I played, um, hola. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? I've played so much. Pokemon Unite 
I never played it for the longest time because for games, I will always hold off to when they're not mainstream anymore because then you have like the real players come in. And I played Pokemon Unite for the first time. It was right before Christmas and I was addicted. Addicted. It was, I think, okay, the first few lobbies in, because you're not in rank, so, like, you're playing with, like, probably literal children who don't know how to play the fucking game. <laughs> and I've never played any MMO, is that what it's called? Like, League of Legends, like, I never played any of those type of games, because that's cringe. Um, so. Um, so, like, I, I know, like, the basic mechanics of those type of games, but I, I didn't- It took me a, a bit to learn how to play it properly. But it's honestly really fun. I think my rank is great. So, I think it's, like, the third lowest rank. Like, I'm not grinding as much as I could. But there's no, like, um, text chat. Cause, like it's a nintendo game so it's just gonna be like little baby children playing so they're not gonna have like an actual chat box to like communicate properly with your team members which is low-key frustrating but it's fine it's fine what am i doing honey where, where's my honey with it this year gonna be good <laughs> yeah i think this year has a lot of potential I'm also hopefully gonna graduate. Is you need the League of Legends looking Pokemon? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that game. It's that game. Oh, I was gonna say. Hopefully, I'm gonna graduate college this year? Question mark. It's either gonna be. I think I'm on track to graduate either summer, fall, or winter. I think it's fall or winter is when I'm projected to graduate. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> like hopefully. Let's go. Let's go ahead into resolutions now. I okay. Hot take. Actually, not that hot take. The resolutions are cringe. Cause like you say, I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and then you don't. That's my hot take. But a lot of times, I'm not a a goal oriented person. I'm very much like. I will have like short term projects that I, and like endeavors that I want to work on. But long term, it, it's hard for me to think that far ahead. I didn't put fertilizer down. I didn't I didn't put fertilizer in any of these sections. I, I put it here. I put it down here, but I didn't put it up here. Fuck oh my god. It's fine. It's 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 fine. It. <laughs> I'm not. I'm literally not fine. Um. I think a lot of people hopefully are gonna take advantage of this year due to the past two years have been just insane. I'm finally getting used to it. Yeah, I think. Hopefully, things will get better. Um, we will see what happens. But. I just don't want to be scared to go outside. That, that's literally all I want. I'm gonna put these in here. And then hold on to my seeds and... Time isn't real? <laughs> Yana, our local anarchist. <laughs> I'll catch up with these messages in a second. I know they're kind of lengthy. I'm not ignoring you guys, I swear. Okay, there we go. You said goals, that's great. Yeah, we talked about goals the other day, I think, Rainy. Resolutions are cringe because, but not because of people not being disciplined enough, but because people really rely on time to change their life. Oh, see? Stigma grind say, go, out <laughs> go outside. I, okay, I, I try, I try. I'm so, okay. I'm so scared, Loki, because it's, I don't know about y'all, but for some reason, our school district um, I'm not in school. My mom works for our local school district. He started school today for some reason instead of yesterday because I guess some people think they need that extra PTO when New Year's is still technically usually a part of winter break anyway. So they started school today. And if y'all know, um, West Coast got some gnarly snowstorms. 
Along with the East Coast right now, so sorry, East Coasters. <clears throat> but we ha we didn't get a lot of snow. We we got snow on the day after Christmas. That was bullshit, man. Anyway, so I saw this really good like a base TikTok, cause like on TikTok like snow posts were like all over your for you page, right? But like a base take was a Washingtonian wa Washingtonian calling out all these Mid Eastern people. Oh nope, nope. That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say Midwestern, like the middle state people. When they're like, oh, I know how to drive in the snow. But like in Washington, um, a lot of, cause it's fucking cold here when it snows. Like when it snows, it freezes. So when the snow melts, it turns into ice. So you're not driving on snow, you're driving on ice. I was like, oh my God, that's such a good take. That's an amazing take. What am I doing? Okay, I need to get some veggies to ferment. So, I'm not, like, I don't drive because driving is scary, right? But so my dad was like driving my sister work every day because like Uber and Lyft is fine. It's fine, but like since they're considered independent contractors, if they fuck up and like kill you or something, they're liable. Like Lyft will usually not help them. They'll just help report the issue or case, um, but like they won't do anything to like protect the driver. Because basically, if you like kill someone, uh oh, oh no, <laughs> you have to sue the driver, not Lyft itself, I believe. So my dad was driving to work every day, just because like people are scary. Man, y'all are chatty. Sheesh. Hi, cupcake. You're from Rainy Stream. Hello. Thank you for coming in. Driving on black ice is one of my biggest worries, but I don't know. I don't... Yeah, you live in fucking California. You need to, like, shut up, Yana. You, you don't even know. <laughs> I I'm sure, like, some parts of California do have snow, though, but that's probably, like, mountainous areas, yeah? <laughs> Driving is not scary. Dude, I have gotten in three accidents, all in which was when I was a fucking toddler and one pre-birth. Pre so, I was traumatized when I was like three, okay? <laughs> oh, I can sell shit. What am I doing? I haven't streamed in a week. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I don't want to sell that. That's... Wait, our weekly mission is just... Oh, I... Why did I sell the milks and eggs? Oh. I just need to... I was gonna say, I need to end stream. <laughs> there we go, let's ferment our eggs. Let's see, it's 10am, I kinda- I, I need to mine, I need to like zone out. Because... I, I cannot be doing this. <laughs> yeah, Canada, get fucked. Like... <laughs> the scariest thing I've experienced is my PC not booting up properly. Oh my god, for real though, for real. I was- oh, okay. Because I haven't streamed in a week, so I haven't plugged in, like, my capture cards in a hot minute, right? <clears throat> and it took me, like, 30 minutes for it to connect properly. Shout out Elgato. We love them. <laughs> I know there's, like, other capture cards you can use. I just haven't used them yet. Because, like, I don't know which ones to use. I bought, like, cheeky ones off of Amazon. But, like, it didn't work. And it wasn't like high enough quality and like it didn't have software to capture the actual um, gameplay like on your screen which suck so i guess i'm stuck with elgato for now i mean like she's fine but for some reason one capture card works better because i have two capture cards one for my gameplay and one for my camera that way you get like nice hd shit but Ayo Elgato is good. <laughs> I think it does the job, you know? Like, it's a solid beat. Like, it's not the star student of the quest. I'd be driving five miles per hour everywhere I go. That'd be me. Like, if I drove, I'd be getting the tickets for being, like, the slow granny. You know? <clears throat> Did you name your animals? No, I just name them random shit. Because I, I just, like... The, randomize the randomizer names are actually kind of funny. 
It's like, it just sounds like random sounds meshed together. Name the pig Rainy? Okay, I'll name my next pig after you, Rainy. For sure. <clears throat> you, you'll have to remind me though, I'm gonna forget. I make a lot of empty promises. I'm kidding, I'm pretty faithful and loyal. <laughs> Imagine randomizing names and getting a Rainy. Oh, dude, that'd be cool. I think, like, Rainy- I've never, like, heard that name in real life. Like, I've never met someone named Rainy. Or Yana. I've never heard the name Yana. I mean, they're cool. It's just not common names, I guess. I've- I know someone named Raina, but not Rainy. You don't hear many, like, I eat. But let, let's talk about resolutions now, guy. I think for me, I just want to use my time better. Because as I said earlier, I have, like, two hundo in my bank account. So, like, I need... I. <laughs> I need to start working soon and so I'm back. Which I would like to do freelance work, but in order for me to do that, I need to like fine tune my skills, right? So, ultimately, I just want to, because I have access to LinkedIn Learning, which is really nice, like educational courses on like how to use different softwares and programs. I'm, right now, I'm trying to learn the Adobe. I'm doing the Adobe Photoshop courses right now. That way I can learn basic like VFX, video editing, and that type of thing. Aw, uh, thank you for following Cupcake. I appreciate it. Thank you. I think it's so nice to see people from different streams come in because... <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm very picky with my follows. Because for me, I'm not gonna love someone right away. You know what I mean? It takes me a bit to like like someone like you have to give me a reason to like you in order for me to like <laughs> grant you that follow i know it's kind of mean to say it that way but i'm just very careful with how i sp not careful i'm very like picky with how i spend my time <clears throat> that's why like if i'm browsing the discover tab i will chat for like five ten minutes before i decide if I'll like leave a follow. I know it's bad. It feels bad to like chat and leave. But like if the person is not engaging, not entertaining, I okay. A thing that irks me a lot is <clears throat> like I'm the kind of person to where like I have an on voice, right? To where I can project, I can like use a bit more inflection in my speech. I do mumble a lot. I've been told I mumble. And also my mic is like a bit away from me because I don't like having like shit in my face. So because it's further away, I have to enunciate a lot more. I have a bit more like airiness and lifting your voice, right? <clears throat> um, where was I going with that? So like, um, mm, okay, not good take, but to me. The reason why people get pissed about not growing or not like popping off is just like your content is not good or not okay not not that it's not good it's just like either you haven't found your niche audience yet or it's not good enough for like a mainstream audience right that's why like i've been streaming since august and growth would be cool it'd be pretty poppers but like i'm not beating myself over it like, it, it's hard to not get jealous of the people who are very successful in a short period of time, but also, I'd rather fine-tune my, like, speaking skills, or, yeah, speaking skills, and also, like, my personality and commentary style. Because, ultimately, you can't be too dependent on chat. I know I'm ignoring you guys or not, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, like, if I don't finish what I'm saying, I'm gonna forget, I'm gonna blank. But if you watch, like, big streamers... Chat culture is so much irrelevant to their content, the bigger they grow. 
I think I had a really I had a really good tweet yesterday. <laughs> my my Twitter drafts. I I, <laughs> I want to screenshot it and post it because I just think it's so funny. Because half of them is like gay shit posting. I, I'm bi by the way. Like I just think it's easy to say like I'm gay, but you know whatever. Anyway, so like half my drafts are like gay shit posts, and then the other half are like kind of funny, kind of not like commentary type takes or jokes. <clears throat> we love Rainy Mara though. Oh, oh, you'll get there, Cupcake. You'll get there. <laughs> because what's very difficult when you're working with like written text is you lose that tone and inflection, the enunciation in which you speak. That's why like a lot of dry humor does not hit well. And I, my personal like <laughs> comedy sense is very dry humor also very like edgy stuff too which i know does not translate well in chat like i think it's also fun to see to go into like small streamers chats and see how they react to your messages because i'm very trolly with my messages because i think it's funny i like to goof and gaff but like i'm not mean i'm <laughs> i'm not mean when i chat you know like i there's a threshold, there's a line in which you don't cross and you troll. Right? Where, where was I going with this? Okay, yeah, I was talking about how, like, a lot of bigger content creators don't- Not that they don't pay attention to the chat, it's just not as big of a part of their content as it might have been if they were, like, small, right? So I think, in order for you to be a good commentator, you have to also be able to talk on your own. That's why I feel so bad. I have more people than I usually do today. But, oh fuck, it's 940. Let's go home, guys. I want to die. <laughs> like, you have- Why am I going to the town? You have to be able to- I keep pressing the wrong button. Not stand up for yourself. Be able, be able to stand on your own, I guess. <clears throat> Okay, let me scroll up. <laughs> I feel like if someone is chatting before following, well, I want to follow them if they like me, not just because they click the stream. Exactly. Like, they should like you because they like your personality or they like the content. Because on Twitch, in order for you to, to or rather the people I like, are either really good at the game or they're just entertaining in general. Like, I can watch Mizkiff all day. And I'll be happy, you know? It's because he's like his personality is just on all the time. It's insane. And I know like I'm a IRL, I'm a fairly quiet person. I don't talk very much unless I'm talked to, you know? But I really like energetic personalities. Like I definitely have an on personality if I'm hanging out with like friends and stuff. But like if I'm at home like chilling, I don't like talking to people. Granted, there's no one at home that I want to talk to, am I right? <laughs> but. <laughs> okay, let's sell some shit. Okay. On to the next day. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna mine because I'm, I'm very chatty today. I haven't been live in a week and a half, so I have a lot to say, guys. Okay, I'm gonna catch up with you guys before I start the day, okay? Um, Cupcake says, I prefer small, medium streamers because they actually interact. Yes, I am an attention hog. I love when they say hi back to me, you know? I need that interaction, right? I actually did my nails too. You can't see, I'll show them full cam later. <laughs> uh, Rainy says, well, that depends. Like, we have people- I'll go on full cam. I'll go on full cam since I'm chatting. Nail check. I did these Sunday. It's like a medium pink, and then I put a glitter pop. Oh, these are hollow taco. I love her shit. Uh, we have people that stream once a week, inconsistent, with another platform, and then complain they can't take this seriously. Yeah, when people. Okay. If people don't cross post, I think the best piece of information I saw was if. Because, like, when you're streaming, you only stream for like X amount of hours, certain days of the week, right? But, like, then you're offline for probably like at minimum like 
16 hours, right? So they don't, you're basically dead. Your stream is dead for 16 hours. Like, if you don't cross-post, then who are you, right? Even if their content is good, you aren't putting in the numbers, you won't grow. It, yeah, it's, I'm indifferent because bigger number, better person, am I right? But also, like, if people don't like your shit, then you're not doing the right thing or you need to change it up, right? Um. <laughs> I think a lot of people go li go live and expect Twitch to make them grow. Yeah, like, they're not, they're obviously going to push the people who are already known to be successful, who are already averaging like 1k, 10k, right? So like, why are they going to push someone who has five people when they're not guaranteed to be one, consistent with their content and two, be like, dedicated to put more, not mm, not dedicated to like commit to the platform so like it makes sense that they're not pushing smaller people as much versus like youtube like in order to hit monetization on youtube you have to hit 1k subs which is a lot on my exclamation clips and chat guys on my youtube channel i post the same clips that i post on tiktok and some okay well let's go back to gaming let's see some will pop off on YouTube shorts. Like, the ones that pop off are, like, really baity, clickbaity titles. So now I know what works on YouTube, right? But, like, on TikTok, I don't... Because all my videos are fairly simple. A lot of them is just fucking Mario Kart. Which, I honestly could watch Mario Kart for hours. Mainly because, like, I love the game. And it's so satisfying to watch people who are good at the game, right? <clears throat> if anyone is familiar with, like... Mario Kart, like, there's specific lines, there's specific tricks you can do, certain item uses you can do to, like, get good at the game, right? And, I think it comes down to, like, if people know the game, they'll watch it play it, right? So, like, I'll post the exact same clips on, like, IG and TikTok, and some will do really well on TikTok, and some will, like, be dead on TikTok. Because, for TikTok right now, my goal, no, my target like, I will be sad if I don't hit this number. If I don't get 200 views on a video, I will be sad. Because I think I have... I think I have a little over 50 followers on TikTok. And that's in the span of a month, which I think is really good. Because what you see on TikTok is you'll see, like, people pop off with, like, one video, but then the rest of the videos fall flat, right? Because either the video is, like, too niche of a type of content, or it doesn't match the rest of their videos. So that's why, like, all my videos are very similar. That way I can see what works and what doesn't. But, like, when I look at the videos that do well, low-key, the videos I hated the final edit of. Because I personally like videos to where, like, there's a start and an end, right? Like, kind of like a story. Like, a complete, um, segment, right? So, it's interesting to see... I still haven't found a coherent pattern for what does well on TikTok. I, I know what type of content does do well. We talked about thirst traps earlier. But I ain't gonna be doing that shit. Not until I lose like at least 100 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding. Oh my god. I weigh, <laughs> I weigh like 180 and that's on a good day guys. Okay. Have we even talked about resolutions yet? Oh, I need to go to my axe. <laughs> yeah, I put Raid on the front page, you guys. Any hot takes about the boost? I- okay, I know a lot of people were mad about it when it first got launched. But I'm indifferent because it's no different than, like, promoting a post on TikTok or Instagram. It's just the same thing. Like, you're paying for exposure. Which I think is fine. Like, I just didn't like how viewers could contribute to that as well. I think only the streamer should be able to enable and pay for that. <clears throat> that's that's my take. Like, I think farming subs is already kind of cringe. But I think the boosts were, like, not it. I think the concept is fine. It's just that I didn't like how viewers could contribute to that. Because, like, you shouldn't rely too much on your audience for your success. You know what I mean? I can't chop any 
You watch Rainy because she's good at D&D, or DVD? <laughs> sure. <laughs> she lets all the survivors run away. He's a horrible killer. He plays too nice, let's be honest. <laughs> I don't think Twitch is the issue. Yeah, like, a lot of people who are, like, upset and not about not being successful are, like, low-key ego. Like, they have too much ego, like... If you think your shit is good, then how come people aren't showing up? Then it must not actually be good, right? <laughs> when people rant on Twitter. Ah, uh, I love and hate Twitter. You, you get a lot of funny takes and then you get a lot of bad takes. Let's just leave it at that. I- okay. I know it's very- I'm very hesitant to what I will post in terms of, like, personal stuff. And then also... Talking about being sad and shit. Because the only time I've, like, sad posted was when I had a Snapchat for a week. Because the only reason I downloaded Snapchat at the time was to talk to one of my high school friends. We were in high school at the time. And, cause, like, he didn't want to talk on, like, regular, like, Samsung- Text messages he didn't want to like talk on messenger so he's like let's talk on snapchat i'm like okay looking back snapchat is very <laughs> sus right it's not <clears throat> it's not the best place to be talking to people. um case in point james charles anyway so i would just post on like my stories about like how sad i was that day and then after a week i was like this is not good because i know like negative posts or like posting about if you're sad or something to me as as a someone like consuming it or reading it not that you should keep it to yourself but it definitely farms engagement it's kind of like how when you post a selfie it'll perform better than like a text post right because people like you and they want to support you right so that's why I try my hardest not to post about, like, being sad or, like, negative stuff. Like, I'm trying to think. It was, I think, a week or two ago. I was thinking about how, like, I was just having a bad day. I was having a bad day. And I was going to post about, like, body issues and insecurities. But then, like, I thought about it. And I thought, how many people are going to, like, like this post, right? Or potentially like it, because I get, like, no likes on Twitter. Follow my Twitter, please. <laughs> Exclamation soul souls in chat. Um, but then how many of those people who like the post, how many are going to, like, actually check in and see if I'm okay? You know? Because with people I care about, if you're, like, sad posting, I will message you. Or, like, I will check in. Maybe not right away, because I understand... That, like, if you're posting that type of stuff, you're probably, like, really upset in that, right? Like, I'll wait, like, an hour or two or something and, like, check in because when I see those type of posts, I will see it as, like, not a cry for help, but rather, like, I want someone to talk to, you know? It's 2.50, 2.50. I'm so far behind in chat. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just very chatty today. I haven't- I haven't been live for a week. I haven't talked to anybody in ages. Anyway. It's- <laughs> It's kind of like, you know how you hang out with your mom's friend or like the neighbor and the moms are like, go talk to Tommy, you know? Let, let the parents talk. It's kind of like that. Just chat amongst yourselves. Because I know I was very much a chatter. Or I was a YouTube frog before a Twitch frog. So you're just used to... I'm used to chat culture a lot. Like, I'm very much a chatter. I think I'm a funnier chatter than a streamer. That's what I think. <laughs> Snapchat is an eggplant farm. <laughs> See, that's why I don't go on it, guys. I also, it feels, okay, 
legally you should you should not be sending nudes to people without their consent like the receiver is not consenting and also you don't know if they're gonna leak it like just don't and also there's an issue of like them resharing it or just like showing it to other people and also if you get an unsolicited nude right and then you choose to share it around you could get in trouble for that too so don't just block and delete the message do not screenshot it do not like leak it or dox it just don't do that because you can be dinged for revenge porn too so just don't granted i have not had i have not have had to deal with that issue yet so i'm one to talk right <laughs> it's not cute enough to get like harassed by men i guess smiley face <laughs> yeah yeah I'll, I'll, I'll get there one day one day i'll get there <laughs> see on that topic okay i really i really liked english and writing in school i wasn't very good at it mind you but i enjoyed it a lot and talking about like tone Connotation. Like, I think I'm cute. I think I'm somewhat decent, but like, I don't think I'm pretty. Because to me, pretty has such. Not a high. It doesn't work. Such like. This like. Unachievable. Connotation to it. To where like. Everyone will think you're attractive, right? Versus just like. A niche group of people will think you're cute, right? Like, I don't like when people call me pretty. Like, my previous partner, looking back, I could have been nicer. Okay, not that I was mean, but I could have, like, expressed how much I liked them. Because he would tell me all the time, you're so cute, you're so pretty, and I'd be like, oh, thank you. But there was one time we were, like, hanging out, and he was like, you know, I think you're the prettiest person in the world, and I'm like... <laughs> Thank you, but in turn, I'm like, no, you're, you're fucking blowing smoke up my ass, right? Because I never will say hyperbole. Hyperbole is like an exaggeration, right? I very rarely will say that type of thing because looking back now, that's a negative memory for me because. All I can think about is how much this person used to care about me or used to think I was pretty, right? That's why, like, I never said, like, oh, you're the best or you're the sweetest. Like, I will very rarely say those type of things to someone I'm, like, with. <laughs> I was trying to think of a good word there. Because I'm very, okay, I've only had one relationship, so keep that in mind. But, I'm a realist, right? I know things won't last forever. So, I'm not gonna say stuff that I will love you forever, because that is also cringe. I still have screenshots of him texting me that. <laughs> and I remember, because I was on a trip, like, out of the state. We were, like, texting each other every day, and he's like, I'll love you forever! And I was like, oh, cute. But like, I remember screenshotting it like in the moment, like, oh, that's so cute. That's so sweet. But then a minute later, I was like, am I just screenshotting this? So when we do break up, I can look back at this and be sad. I still have that screenshot and it's on my old phone. No, it's, it's on this phone. It's on my current phone. I forgot. It's on this phone. Because I saved it and sent it to my new phone. <laughs> um... But yeah, I'm just forever single. Let's be honest. Okay, not that I'm- I know I was farming for a GF on Twitter. I thought that was a really funny tweet. I thought it was good. I thought it was really good. Um, it was basically like, all I want for Christmas is a cute GF, and then I forgot to put the reply on the 26th, but I put like, I think Santa skipped to my house this year. I thought- because, like, I thought of it 
at like 2 a.m. And I thought it was the funniest shit. Like I was patting myself on the back. I was like, oh, that's a banger. Oh, I got a sword. <laughs> First thing told me, someone told me that she loved me forever. I called her a liar. <laughs> we broke up a few days later. Oh, no. I mean, see, I assume you're a realist too then, Cupcake. Like, you're just saying it how it is, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's funny, though. <laughs> I said, see, I was right, you lied. Uh, dude, got him. Easy clap. I do have some BTTV emotes. I have easy. I think that one's funny. It didn't show up? That sucks. <clears throat> I'll have to reactivate my emotes then. Hmm. <laughs> It's so nice having actual earbuds to listen to the game audio. So nice. I wish I could sell the stupid swords here. It's DOM how I have to keep them in my inventory. Okay, let's catch up. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. 50 followers over a span of a month is great. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like, so behind. I feel so bad. I don't understand how people with an active chat can, like, feel good about themselves. Like, just ignoring chat. <laughs> Let's get some water. Gentle reminder to hydrate, okay? Yeah, we love when Rainy sings on stream. It's so nice. I think it's also cool because... Oh, um, what was I going to say? Sorry, I did not mean to tap my desk. I'm sorry. Because I wish I could sing, but I understand with, like, covers and stuff, there's, like, a lot of, like, loopholes you can do, but also, like, I don't want to get taken down. You know what I mean? Imagine following chat with 10 key viewers. I would lose man. Oh, yeah. Because I would watch Hassan stream like every day. Is he live? <laughs> Is Hassan live yet? He's probably live. Sad day. But like, I can just sit and like read the chat for like 30 minutes and be entertained. Because low key, chatters be funnier than the streamers sometimes. Rather like all the time. But I think like. To me, chat makes the stream. That's why, like, I re I know me as a viewer, I really like chats where, like, it's a lot of emotes, fam. Like, it's fun to see, like, the emotes of the channel. And also, like, little, like, jabs and jokes and trolls, like, sprinkled in between, like, the spam. I think that's my favorite chat. <laughs> boost don't work, lol. <laughs> yeah, because all the boost does is it shows up in the recommended tab, I believe. It does not, like, autoplay. Like, it just shows up on like, your sidebar, and, like, who looks at the Discover tab anyway? Like, who does? Like, actually. <clears throat> I only downloaded Snapchat so my friends would shut up about it. Yeah, that was me. And then I deleted it a week later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. If someone asks for your Snap, red flag. Red flag, guys. Just don't. Just don't. You are cute. Oh, thank you, Rini. Thank you. Oh, the easy did work. It just, okay. The BTT votes just doesn't show up on the Twitch studio. I use Twitch studio. OBS is confusing. I know a little bit, but it's confusing. Okay, back to game. I'm sorry. Chatty Andy today. We haven't even talked about resolutions. I think I'm clickbaiting, guys. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sheesh, it's already Thursday. I could buy animals. Oh no, I forgot to gift on Tuesday. Sheesh. <laughs> I was gonna say shit and then sheesh. <laughs> it's Tuesday, isn't it? 
think you're blind too, Cupcake. This is Thursday. Also, I'm so happy that I can stream in 900p as of right now because I understand. Because, like, for some reason, Stardew Valley does not capture as crystal clear as I would like it to. So being able to stream 900p makes it look a little bit better. Just the teensy is better. And also, face cam is a little bit clearer. Like, I did not spend a hundred bucks on a new Elgato for it to look like shit. I know there's like different filters you can use to like sharpen it, but with like a lot of sharpening filters, it does not look good because it basically translates the pickle. <laughs> the pic it translates the pixels in a way to which. It just translates the pixels on top of each other and changes the hues and stuff a little bit. But it doesn't look good in my But thankfully, stream hasn't effed. I found out if you are using a hard wire, disable your Wi-Fi because sometimes your um, computer gets confused. So like, if your internet drops, it's because it's switching from your Wi-Fi to your hard wire. So if any of y'all are hardwired, disable your Wi-Fi, because there's no point of having the Wi-Fi on if you have a hardwire. Pickle translating tech. <laughs> I haven't talked in a week, <laughs> so let's just say it's that. I'm gonna move these seeds up top here. 13 days- oh fuck me dude, I should have planted those sooner. One of my friends has a hard time pronouncing Stardew Valley and it's always pronounced as Darju. Oh no. Darju. How does that make sense though? Are they trying to like be quirky and say it funny on purpose? Because I I know I will do that sometimes. Like I say Marikar. Like I just skip the R. I have a joke, but it's mean. It's making fun of my sister. I'm not gonna say it. Not that she watches, because, you know, she doesn't support me. <laughs> but... <laughs> I mean, some of my friends are weird. Yeah, it's also... I do it for attention. I think it's funny. I used to work with um children, too. And they love when you do, like, voices and shit. Or, like, when you say stuff funny. Because that's how kids talk, because they cannot talk yet, because they're like five. I've thought about doing like volunteer work, and I actually don't know if our libraries are open as of right now. I think they're still just open for like curbside and stuff. Which is cool, like protecting our librarians, that's pretty pog, but also like our health co workers are dying. Or they're getting sick, rather. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I would love to like read children's books like you know how you sit in the circle and the library reads you a little picture book I would love to do that I think that'd be so fun I also thinking oh, I don't know what I was trying to say there but I think doing like voice of work is really fun too because I need to practice just talking more so I really think doing like voiceover work would be really beneficial to like fine-tune that skill a little bit because <clears throat> like you know how you see <laughs> because i'm broke and i have no money i'm like googling how to make money quick <laughs> right how to make 20 dollars in five minutes like those are the articles i'm looking at <laughs> right now and one of them was like oh you should become a narrator for this one site and i was like okay so like i look into it and it's a lot of work a lot of work i don't want to name names but you get paid for like how many finished hours of recording like if the audiobook is 30 minutes in length you get paid for that 30 minutes but in actuality it's going to take like four hours to record it right So, you should charge like a hundred dollars an hour 
That way, if your finished recording is 30 minutes, you get 50 bucks, right? I just want to get money by doing nothing me. Literally me. Because, <laughs> like, I would, I would get a job, but I honestly... My last job killed me. Like, I died. And then I came back. It was a lot. It was customer service. Some of y'all know, but I used to work at a, a sandwich place called um, Subway. Wink. And it was alright. It was fun. But, like, once you start doing management shit, everyone's responsibilities become your own. In terms of, like, you have to monitor everyone, you have to make sure everything is done correctly. If they fuck up, it's your fault technically because you weren't managing properly. It, it just sucks. Like, the pay wasn't even worth it because, like, I wasn't even salary. I was still hourly. And I was worked, like, 70, 80 hours a week when I was still trying to do college online. And it got to the point where, um, I was just working too much. And, like, classes were gradually... I was basically at the point where, like, if I failed, I'd have to drop out, which is not cool. Like, why get 60k in student debt just to drop out? Am I right, guys? Sounding like every other <laughs> online creator. But I quit. Okay, I hate when people say, Oh, you quit your job? But it's like, I put my two weeks in. Like, I didn't just leave. I didn't, like, take off my apron and, like, dip out, right? Like, I gave notice. And everyone's like, oh, you're quitting? I'm like, no, I, I'm leaving in a week and a half, dude. Like, you should be glad I didn't, like, flip a table and walk out, you know? Not that I would do that. Any future employers, I would not do that. Um. Yeah, because since I've been working for seven months now, it's pretty cool. Like, shoutouts to my parents for, like, not forcing me to work. That's actually really cool. Another thing I didn't realize was so difficult was like doing closed captioning or like transcribing. Because in another article for the Get Rich Quick one, they were like, oh, do transcribing. And I'm like, okay, I will. You guys still give your two weeks? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, all the fucking 16 year olds are just quitting nowadays, right? No, they just like know their worth. I think that's the better take. Anyway. I love your emotes, Yana. Like, where are they from? Are these just like BTD? Oh, Casey Tron? I love Casey Tron. <laughs> I don't watch a lot of her stuff. But, like, whenever I pop in, I'm like, on. Oh, she always has good shit. I forgot what I was gonna say, sorry. Cupcake says, When I wanted to quit my job, my boss told me I had to finish working the rest of the month first. So I called in sick the next day and stayed at home. Oh, easy clap, easy clap, guys. Cupcake knows what to do. Did you watch your subathon? I popped in time to time. Because, like, the main clips I've seen of Casey Tron is when she's on, like, other streams. Like, I think the most I saw of Casey Tron, like, initially was during Chip Camp. That was hosted by um, NMP LOL and like Beauty Cinderella in Austin, I think. Like, I watched all those streams, so that's when I used to, like first got like a little nibble of Casey. <clears throat> She's another like very dry comedic type person, which I really like. They're not really streamers, but they're more YouTubers. Um, they're a channel called Super Mega on YouTube. I've been following their stuff because they've edited for Markiplier and Greg Game Grumps at different points in their career. But <laughs> they're cute. They're they're two um, young guys. Surprising to see you in the chat. 
Okay, I, when I'm a mobile viewer, I don't have chat open, to be honest. Because, like, I get annoyed when, like... Because if you're a mobile viewer, the chat takes up, like, two-thirds of your screen almost. And it's annoying. Because your screen is already tiny as it is. Some days, I'm just like, I want to watch the stream. I don't want to read chat. <laughs> so, like, usually if I'm, like, if I'm a chatter, I will be on my computer. Or my laptop. Um, oh, yeah, Super Mega. They're like 20 something year olds. They do like, they do let's plays, but a lot of their stuff, they have a podcast. And their humor is very um, verbally ironic or sarcastic and very dry. And it, it's, it's really funny because a lot of their bits, you don't know if they're joking or not because their delivery is so good. And also they queer bait a lot and it's, it's really funny. <laughs> But their, their humor is very vulgar, so if you do look them up, keep that in mind. Let's see, it's 8.20, so I probably have enough time to finish out this level of the month. three hours of sleep last night i low-key wasn't gonna stream today but then i was like i have i haven't been live for a week and a half it's such a dumb bit i'm sorry but i'm glad i did because it was one of those nights where i honestly should have stopped watching like videos at nine o'clock like i usually do but i didn't but, like i was up till like four o'clock because I couldn't go to sleep because I had like an idea for a concept that I could do and like an edit I could do and you know how when you think of an idea that's like all you can think about <clears throat> so I was in my bed for two hours thinking about like like just constanting out the idea in my head for two hours and it sucked and I don't need that Wait, I need to check what I needed. I I need I need to check what I needed for the comm center. Um, where is it? Okay, so I need apples, rabbit's foot, mushrooms, maki, roll, cabbage. Okay, so everything I need, I have to get not now. So the only thing I can really get now is the purple mushrooms. Which is in the deeper level of the mine. So, tomorrow, we can go into the deeper level. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. That way I don't forget. <clears throat> Internal dialogue? I don't have that, Rini. I, I, I know it's common, but... It's not rather like a dialogue, it's more like thoughts that I have. Because like anxiety brain, I have to think of every single outcome, every single scenario. So I already just have a lot of thoughts just running around my head at any given moment. Like I don't have dialogues per se. Your mom's voice in your head? Um, no. <laughs> I mean, I even have like difficulty recalling memories sometimes. <gasps> A baby pig, we have to rename it Rainy. Okay. Oh fuck, I almost fucked up. 
Um, rainy called Dib, so this one's being called Rainy. I'm going to put it in lowercase to piss her off. If anyone else wants an animal named after them, remind me. What the fuck? Yeah. Fuck you, Rainy. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm pausing so I don't waste time. put my hair up because it's way too big right now. I'm trying to get used to having my hair down in general because my hair is finally healed enough to where it's like nice and soft, not as like itchy scratchy anymore. And now I can go the whole day with having my hair down and I don't get like irritated. I was gonna say something else and then I forgot. I mean, it must have not been informant or like, not been funny. I forgot it. I also- I feel so bad when I'm having like, conversations with people. Where I've noticed that I interrupt a lot more. Because I have such ADD brain now. Let's be honest, Twitch chat ruined me. Like... I'm at the point where I have to have like two, like I can handle two videos playing at the same time. Like if I'm watching a stream or like if I'm editing a video, I will have like earbuds in one side and like over the headset to like cover the other ear. Like I need, it's overstimulation. I know that's what it is. That's a skill, <laughs> but it's basically a coping mechanism. It's kind of like, if I don't have something playing or something to distract me, that's when, like, the thoughts will creep in, you know? Because last night when I was doing dishes, like, the one time I leave my room is <laughs> um, to, like, do housework and chores and shit. And, like, I was washing dishes and I had, like, my headsets in. And my mom came up to me, she's like, you know, you and your sister always have those dang earbuds in. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, I don't get it. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it, I just need something to like, preoccupy me. I that might be internal dialogue. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not going to share too much. But like, I'm not, I know internal dialogue is associated with like schizophrenia or like, um, not entry level, but like, beginner signs of developing schizophrenia. We do have a history of mental health issues in my family. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> but... Oh, I need to get more produce. I have, like, nothing in there. I don't think I'm schizophrenic yet. Let me put it that way. I know I got other shit going on, but I don't think I'm schizophrenic. Okay, that should be sufficient for now. <laughs> Rainy's just <laughs> diagnosing me in chat. <laughs> no, I know you're trying to be helpful. I'm just goofing, Rainy. I'm goofing. I'm gaffing. Oh, that was a weird sound. It made like a thumping sound. I'm not used to playing this game with like headsets and I can hear so much more now. Because before I was just playing from like the TV audio, so like you don't hear every like intricate sound. 
So that thumping scared me. <laughs> hey, thank you for the follow, Glowing Fox. Oh, that's such a cool name. I also, because I had two I video ideas last night. One was for a just chatting stream for Valentine's Day, because like, I want to farm a little bit. And then the other was, if I ever have, okay. Listen, <laughs> not that I'm wording this word, but like, if I ever have like a proper mod team, I want to make like a specific video like, have, like a, like, a training video for them to watch, because I know for me, when I first started modding, I didn't know how to mod. Like, I just looked up videos on YouTube on, like, how to manipulate the settings for, like, the mod view screen. And I think the hardest thing is learning what the rationale for the streamer is, because I know there's been issues. I'm not gonna name names, because that's mean, but... But I only mod for small- Fuck me! Why'd I do that? No! Oh, okay, I have to leave it open so they run back home. Oh my god! I'm so fucking stupid. Anyway, let's just let them run around. I know they'll- It feels bad seeing, seeing them run around. I know they'll come back home. I know they will. I should make a mod TikTok. No, that's cringe. That's cringe, Rainy. <laughs> Thank you for the suggestion, but I think I'm good. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Because I know for TikTok, um, your audiences are very niche. Like, if I posted that on my Clips account, I don't think it would... That's not... You may not think it's cringe, but I think it's cringe. Uh, anyway. Like, if I posted that on my Clips account, I don't think it would do well. Because that's not what my current... 50 follower audience would like or know, right? So I, I think I'd have to make it like a separate account. Like, I've debated whether or not to make a more like personal, I guess, type account that's related to streaming. Like, I'm not gonna do lip sync stuff because that's just not my type of content. And to me, Oh, I say this literally every time I talk about TikTok, but it's not... You're very limited on what, like, how creative you can be. Because a lot of those sound videos where you just, like, lip sync, it has, like, the setup and then a punchline. And it's very... To me, in order for me to, like, genuinely like those type of videos, for, like, as a new viewer, mind you, not someone that I'm already following, as a new viewer, either... One, you gotta be cute, because <laughs> I am sleazy like that. But also, um, the joke has to be good. Like, the joke cannot, like, be mid. Because when you see the same setup or the same joke all the time, it's not creative. I mean, bringing it back to me, where, like, gameplay is not that creative either. Because a lot of your gameplay content is focused on the commentary. But like, I know me as a mod, I would like a better understanding of what, like, the, the streamer wants. Because I'm, I'm a very, like, Okay, fine. <laughs> no, I think you're pretty clear, Rainy. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not calling you out. Okay, I'm not. I promise, I'm not. I wouldn't bash you on air. <laughs> but there's been issues with some other channel, and it's just like, come on. Like I told, I told you, Rainy, that one story. I told you, you know, you know. Um, like, I decided if I ever have, like, proper mods, yeah, I know, yeah, you know, 
Oh, uh, I, I would want to make them like a training video. Like one to show them how to manipulate the basic settings. Um, like how to operate. <sighs> um, how to operate, um, like Twitch mod view and like the way I use it. And then also how do you properly use the mod tools in terms of like auto mod. Like, see, your your message right there got automated because I have the auto mod enabled. Like, also, now that I allow the message, now loot is permitted. So, like, that's fine, but your message matched in the content. Like, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you don't even make loot jokes because yeah exactly because for me my rules are i can say whatever i want because i'm the streamer right you can hear you don't even... <laughs> yeah i know you don't really um because <laughs> like me as the streamer you can hear my tone you can hear my inflection you can tell by listening to me if i'm joking right but as a chatter i don't know if you're joking you know if you're saying like oh What's a like a lot of trolley comments like they're funny sometimes but like That's why like if I'm making like a trolley comment that's like kind of like bashing or kind of mean I will put a smiley face or something behind it cuz like just so you know I'm joking So like if you check my logs, you can tell I'm joking, right? <laughs> oh, because as chatters you don't have the Ability to convey tone <clears throat> but like I was just thinking about like how I would format that video like what specific jokes and edits I would do like that's what I was up <laughs> till three o'clock three o'clock thinking about because when I think about like what content I want to do like I will pre-think of like bits and jokes <laughs> Some people aren't even that socially intelligent as a chatter. I know, like, some- there's been a couple messages that I've seen as a mod where it's like, why would you say that? Literally, why would you say that? What- what conveyed you to say that? You know? My personal rule is, if you wouldn't say it to, like, your mom, then don't chat it. Like, that's my rule. Like, there's a lot of times where, like, a joke is there, like, I got a banger, right? But it's, it's not, I wouldn't say it to my mom, to my mom, you know? Where I'm like, this is not appropriate. That's not a joke I should make. Like, also as a chatter, you also, you're there for like your own entertainment and then also the streamer and other chatters entertainment, so. And a lot of times your chatters will reflect your, reflect your community in terms of, uh, <coughs> Like, as a new viewer, if I see a dead chat, then I think the channel's dead. Which is really mean to think, but that, that's just how I think, right? Very mean. <laughs> and like, also, if I see the chat is just being stupid or mean all the time, then I'm just like, I don't want to be here. Like, I don't want- that's not the vibe I want as a- Some people think the streamer is like dead ass. <laughs> like, what are you doing on the internet, bro? I know, right? It's like. Also, like, Twitch. Okay, let me just say. I've had a lot. Not... Oh, fuck, it's 1020. I've gotten. The only place I've gotten mean comments is on YouTube. Like, I got. Not to get my attention. I got two fat comments on YouTube. And one. Granted, they were funny. They were funny. One was, um, they were on the same video too. So that implies that one person saw a negative comment, comment implying to any future viewers that like, oh, I can put mean shit on this video because it's not moderated, it's fine, right? The first comment <laughs> was <laughs> fat plus ratio, which I think it, it's funny. Like the setup is funny, right? And I showed my sister. I deleted it, but I was like, hey, this is funny. And then the second one I got 
was you suck at the game and then a hippo emote. But like, I couldn't see what the emote was because it was so small. And also, I had um, night mode on, so I couldn't really see. Because the hippo emote was gray. So I couldn't really see the gray hippo against the gray background of the website. So I, I let that, or I didn't, it didn't fully grasp to me that it was a hate comment. Or like a fat comment. I was like, oh, they're just telling me I suck at the game. I was like, oh, it's fine. It was funny. And like on TikTok, I get the nicest comments, mainly because like they're literal children, <laughs> like asking me how to do like tricks in Mario Kart, and they're so cute. <laughs> um. Also, I noticed a lot of people were posting on how they don't get notifications for certain comments on TikTok, and I have found the times where I don't get notifications for certain comments are when the account is obviously a child. So it's, it's probably just the user's private privacy settings. It's probably the reason why you don't get noticed for certain comments. <clears throat> I need to get another chest. My shit is lethal. I'm also so upset because like my left earbud broke. I'm so I'm mad. I'm like actually upset. I mean they had a sale, so I didn't feel as bad, but it's not gonna come in the mail for another week. Feels bad, man. Can I get some sages in chat? <laughs> I love the Pepe emote so much. <laughs> it's just funny. That no, Rainy. Okay, it's capital S A D G E Stag. Brainy, you need to learn your fucking emotes, dude. Jimmy just wants a first. Ah, there we go, Rainy. You got it. You got it. <laughs> you finally learned. Because I think the emote culture is so fun. Which. Like, you watch YouTube chat and it sucks. You... I watch some Ludwig streams. Because, you know, we stand Ludwig. I miss being able to type Ludwig7 in chat. Um, but YouTube chat sucks. <laughs> Mainly because, like, it's just not the same vibe. And there's, like, a lot more backseat gamers on YouTube, surprisingly. Yeah. I wish I had money so I could enable all the BTD emo emotes. Oh my god, I can't talk. Like, it's hard to find just 15 that you like. Oh, I need to go to the lower levels of the mine. That's what I had to do. I forgot. Uh-oh. Th that's what we have to do today. Oh, I should plant some stuff in the greenhouse too, huh? It's Saturday. I think I will go buy some more seeds from the store. That way I can plant some of the reoccurring seeds in the greenhouse. I know the strat is technically... Like, plant, like, the, the highest money-bearing fruit or whatever and ferment it. But I'm also like... I just want to have stuff that'll regrow. That I'll guarantee to have a lot of crops bear from it. Sorry, you might hear some banging. Our I don't know if the mic is picking it up. Um <laughs> Our dryer broke the other day, and it sucked because we, like, that was the laundry day. 
so. I mean, my dad did go to the laundromat and, like, put it through the dryer so, like, we still have clothes, but, like, it sucked. Because we got the dryer used. It's a nice Samsung dryer. Like, it's pretty- it's actually pretty nice. Which I found weird, because, like, why would you buy a dryer for the Samsung? Right? It's actually really nice. But every year, the heating mechanism breaks. So, like, it'll still tumble. Just the heating won't be on. <clears throat> oh, so he's fixing that right now. I think I will buy 12 each. Ooh, perfect. Not oh, close. So the reoccurring plant? Yeah, that's what they're called. And I'll plant those in the greenhouse. And I'll buy more of the fall and spring seed. <clears throat> I forgot to grab Demetrius's puffer fish badge. You know what's funny? We're on Saturday already, and we're only an hour and 30 minutes into stream. I'm usually... I'm basically speed running at this point. Sorry if y'all can hear the banging. At least he's not chopping wood. Speedrun? <laughs> oh. It's like, my parents know what time I go live. And I try and go live when, like, they aren't home. But my dad works from home for the most part now. And I'm like, hey, yo, dad. Can you please not chop wood? for these two hours before Fub Ward. And he's like, yes sir? And then he does it anyway. I mean, I can't say anything because it's his house. You know, but still, I'm like, dad, please. It, it's so cute because my parents will call this, they're aware, uh, okay, how would they not know? They're aware that I stream, right? But they call it broadcasting. <laughs> and it's so funny because like broadcasting to me is like radio right more like an old timey term so they're like oh what'd you do in your broadcast today <laughs> or they're like how many people you have and I'll be like one <laughs> like they don't get it I was trying to explain to my mom about like what let's plays are and she's like, I don't get it though. I'm like, you don't have to get it, mom. One people's, yeah. One person. <clears throat> but I was like, because I think the best take I saw about Let's Plays was, it was years ago, but like someone compared it to like sports commentators. And it's like, oh my god, that's literally what Let's Plays are. You agree? Yeah, for sure. That's that's basically what it is. And what I think that is hands down the best analogy I've ever heard for it. And whenever I say that analogy to people who like don't get it, they're like, "Oh, I get it now." It's like, yeah, exactly. That's what it is. I need to get a better sword. I mean, I have eighty-five k. What a handful. Oh my god! <laughs> Press the wrong button. Man, I really hope the dryer gets fixed today. Because I have like two loads of laundry to do. Also! I get so annoyed because I, I do my sister's laundry for her. Pays me money. I exploit her. 
those. But when she used to do her own laundry, she would shove like two loads of laundry worth into the washer and dryer. And like, and we'd wonder why it would break all the time. And it's like, dude, what are you doing? That's like making you carry a 40 pound box when you can only lift like five pounds. You know, there, there's a limit to what you can shove in there. Trying to make, <laughs> not make bad jokes. Anyway. Cause like IRL, my humor is very like vulgar, but I definitely turn it down for stream because I definitely want to keep things PG-13. Not saying that I won't slip up some, but <clears throat> I also don't want to say things that'll like get clipped and shimped. You know, clip, 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 shimp. That's what I meant to say. Also, I made a personal rule for myself that I will put in the mod rule video. Any these nuts jokes, insta ban, because that's cringe. It's really baity, cringe content, just insta ban. It's stupid. It's like, that's straight up like 2010 YouTube man. He's banging louder. And it's funny because like I didn't go I didn't go live for a week and a half because my uh, my mom was on winter break because she works at school so she doesn't work. Oh fuck! I do not have a lot of health. Oh my god! I'm gonna die. Fuck me, dude. So like she was home basically every day for two weeks. And I don't like streaming when there's too many people in the house. One, because, like, I have to talk a bit louder, and our house is very small. Like, I can hear people talking from the living room if I leave my door open. And I'm in, like, the furthest corner of my house. But I can still hear people talking. Was my inventory full? Well, it's actually full. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Whatever. Like, I was trying to be respectful for them. In order to like not talk too loud. Also, I don't think y'all would want to hear them arguing all the time, am I right? Yeah, they don't fight so much. They fight as much as a normal husband and wife would. Okay, it's 7.30. We got a bit more time. Okay, let's actually get to resolutions because I think I've clickbaited y'all for too long. <laughs> so what I have, I'm not gonna screen cap it because I don't want to screen cap ads. Ads. No free promo for me and my three viewers. Let's go. Um, but it's basically a list of I think 50 things that you can do to make your life better. It's an article. What's it actually called? Let's kick off the new year right. Here are 55 New Year's resolution ideas for 2022. See, that was an odd voice. That was an odd voice. Man, 55? Sheesh. Okay, let's see what the first one is. Focus on a passion, not the way you look. Based. That's actually a base take. I think... If you have any free time, like, pursue something creative. Even if you're not artsy, like, just make something. Because a lot of hobbies are in, like, the creative field. Like, woodworking, sewing, that type of thing. Like, working with your hands. Because, especially now, a lot of time is, like, spent on a screen. Or, like, on your phone, right? So, like, it's so easy to, like, disassociate. But, like, if you're making something of your own. Like, with your own bare hands. Oh fuck, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Um, then I know for me it's so soothing to be able to like make something and call it my own, I guess. 
is very validating too. I know for me, I'm very like happy because those Mario Kart videos, I can, from like a two hour session, if an average race is four minutes, you can crank out like 15, 20 videos from one session. Easy clap, you know, I got content queued up for two weeks. So like, I don't have to worry about it too much. But like that way I can also focus on like daily stuff to where like I can put more time into practicing edits and that type of thing. I know for me, I want to focus this year on, like I said earlier, just fine tuning my skill. My sister was telling me that I should make like meme edits, like YouTube poop type videos. And I was like, yeah, that's cringe. <laughs> I think that's like a very niche audience. I'm still annoyed that I didn't put sap or fertilizer in the fucking field. I'm like so annoyed at myself still. Like I forgot about it and then I remembered and I'm still like banging my head against the wall. I'm gonna try and plant. I need to get fertilizer. Not forget again. There we go. Oh, wrong, wrong building. Badge. There we go. Oh. Uh I was pressing the wrong button. We got speed run. We got an hour left. Oh, I didn't buy enough. Oh well. <laughs> so two, four, six, twelve, twenty-four. I need to buy twenty-four of each. Okay, I gotta go. There's not enough time. So since tomorrow's Sunday. The shop will be open so we can buy the rest of the seeds that we need to fill up the greenhouse. And I'm probably mining again. Because we honestly got all the rain fish, so we don't need to worry about that. Oh, she's just saying make just cooked fish. I don't know about y'all, but fish is my favorite, hands down. I could eat fish every day and be happy. <laughs> On the contrary, my mom hates fish, so she refuses to let me make it. <laughs> Which sucks. Let's see what else 
article had. Work out to feel good, not to be thin. Yes, that is that is also a good take. These are probably all gonna be good takes. I was trying to like, I was hoping there'd be like really bad takes to where it's like, ah, oh, that's really toxic and bad. A bad goal to have, but like actually, not bad. So, as some of y'all know, there's been like snowstorms on the east and west coast as of recent. So like last week we got a little bit of snow, nothing crazy, but like a little bit. So like I couldn't go biking, and also I haven't gone biking in like about a month because like it's just way too cold in the morning, way too cold. So I got the Switch version of the Ring Fit Adventure, and it's actually really fun. And this love seat couch is the perfect height to where like I'm doing like a perfect 90 degree angle for squats. I don't sit on my couch because that's cheating when I do squats, but like I just like lightly tap it, right? And it's really fun. I do like 30 minutes of it every morning. Granted, I didn't do it this morning because as I said earlier, I got three hours of sleep. Um, <laughs> but it's honestly really fun. The thing about raw salmon like crazy. Oh my god, dude. Dude. I could eat sushi every day and be happy. Like, <laughs> I was talking to my sister about like, if we ever got richy rich and like you could be, have enough money to like have a personal chef, what would you do? And we were both like, we would want a sushi guy. Just like 24 seven sushi bar. That'd be the best, dude. That'd be the dream. I also want to like cook more because when I made my sister cupcakes I also made cookies and they didn't come out good because the recipe was kind of weird. It was cool with cookies so it was just one box of cake mix, uh, one egg, eight ounces of Cool Whip, and water I think. And they didn't cook all the way. Granted I put them in for double the time. The recipe said, but it was still not fully cooked. My mistake, my error. Um, but they didn't taste good. <laughs> and like, I want to bake more, but I know if I bake sweets and stuff, I'm gonna eat them all, and that's that's not good. That's I don't need I don't need it. Because I know I'm not gonna lose like 50 pounds with that ring fit. No shot. It's honestly because like the, I guess the main mechanic is like pressing in on the ring con. So you're working like your arms a lot. And it's really nice. Like I, I, I like to think that I'm getting stronger what I'm trying to say. Ooh, loaded potatoes. Oh, dude. That sounds so good. <laughs> like, just some, like, baked potatoes with sour cream and bacon. Oh, uh, if you go to Wendy's, you can get a whole-ass baked potato. Pretty cool. And, like, with the chili. Ooh. Pretty bomb. I think it's me and Yana just talk about food <laughs> all the time. I mean, I don't mind it. Let's be honest. Uh, I don't think I even got any purple mushrooms when we went down the mine. Shit. That sucks, man. I also want to think about like what my shtick will be, like catchphrase, because I know a lot of my bits are just like references to other creators, which is funny, 
like it's fun easter eggs but also like it's not transformative it? Got all our seeds planted for now no meat put black beans bell pepper shallots avocado and greek yogurt and corn Ooh. little vegetarian action that sounds good though man Have any of y'all ever made a good crispy scalloped potato in the oven? Because every year on Thanksgiving, we try and make it and we fail. It just does not come out good. I don't know what the problem is. Because, like, we do what the recipe says, follow all the directions. But, like, the potatoes are never cooked all the way, and it's so frustrating. Maybe, okay, our oven is, like, older than me, so maybe that's the problem. But I still don't, I don't get why. It doesn't work. Where's Lil Rainy? <laughs> Yeah, one <laughs> year all the trouble will be worth it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, one year we'll get it. We also still need a new fridge. Because our fridge, everything on the bottom shelf freezes over. And that was like a month ago. We're at the point where like everything in the bottom half of the fridge freezes over. And like a new fridge is a fat stack. We need to, we need to farm some donos, guys. I'm making a new fridge. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't have donuts set up. I thought about setting up donations at some point, but I don't think because I, I don't want to seem that I'm asking for stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's funny to like farm for bits, but I generally don't want to farm. Like, I don't. <clears throat> I don't want to seem desperate, I guess, is the way I'm trying to... I, I could just get a real job, you know, get money that way. <laughs> also, I've been trying to, like, not grip my controller as hard so you don't hear the lacking, but I, I can't do it. I'm sorry, guys. You're just gonna have to deal with it for now. There will be a day when I am comfortable enough with having a mic shoved in my face for hours on end, but we're not there yet. Three fifty. We probably don't have enough time to donate those vegetables so we can throw them away for now. I just want to go fishing because I haven't fished in a hot minute. The fishing mechanic in this game is so fun. <laughs> you like the clacking sound? Okay, cool. Yana stands it. <laughs> oh, the GameCube. Oh, man. I never had one, but I remember I had to go to my friend's house and she had a GameCube and we'd play Mario Party. I did. That was invested. I'm so glad that my stream elements timers are working again. I don't I sometimes they'll work and sometimes they won't. I don't I don't get it. Mario Party is trash now, yeah. I wish like graphics wise it's pretty cool. But like otherwise kinda of sucks. Granted I haven't I've just played. What's the last one I even played? I think I played the Wii version at my friend's house, and that was like the last one I played. I think also, like, the games aren't fast paced enough for me to, like, pay attention the whole time. 
Like, I want to get the new Mario Party Superstars, I think it's called, because, like, the aesthetic is really nice. But, like, no one will play with me. I wanted to get it and, like, play with my sister. And I was like, if I get it, will you play with me? She's like, no. And I was like, okay, rip. <laughs> because to me, that type of game is only fun for, like, the first time you play it. And then you just drop, like, 60 bucks on a game you're not going to play again, you know? That's like, that's why I always gravitate towards story or like RPG, because like you're guaranteed to play it for like a lot of hours, right? So it feels like you're getting your money's worth, and it also feels more rewarding in terms of like building up your character or like your base or whatever. <laughs> Nintendo's not making anything good. Loki, Loki. I mean, I still stand. I only have no. I have a PlayStation, but I only have the only game I played on it was Tsushima. My sister only uses the PlayStation now to watch anime, and by anime I mean One Piece. She's riding her way through it. Only cash grabs in the south trap. See, I think. With that type of take, it's also like, but would you pl play new IP? I know you were saying you're pretty hyped for the new Kirby preview that came out, I think. Like, that new Kirby game looks pretty fun. But like, if there was like new IP, would you really play it? I don't know. Because there's a lot of good, like, interesting indie games but would you actually buy it like are they gonna have a big enough budget to make a really good game if people aren't gonna buy it no no You weren't hype? I thought you said you liked it. Oh, wait. We were talking about... Oh, yeah. We were talking about how, like, the apocalypse is such a common trope. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry. I did not mean to gaslight Yana. I'm sorry. Boring. I think... Eh. We'll see. We'll see. I've never... I really want to play a Kirby game. I never have. I remember when I had the Wii, I wanted to get the yarn one or whatever but i just didn't commit as much because the only thing i played on the wii was i think mario kart and then like the wii sports game <laughs> no I, I was intentionally gaslighting yana i'm just that bitch <laughs> but yeah that was a bit ago when would, when would the trailer even come out Luigi's Mansion. Oh yeah, that's another one that I want to play. Like, such a stickler for me, or like something that holds me back from playing like older games is like the aesthetics. I'm very much like, if the game is not pretty, I'm not gonna play it. Like, I want to play like the retro Mario games. Like, I know Super Mario 64 was like really in a bit ago. But, like, I just can't get past how, like, ugly it is. Very picky. Is the yarn game on the Switch? Was it ported to the Switch? Because if it is, then I might get it. When I have money, because I have no money. <laughs> but... I might actually get it. I know the Super Mario Bros. I think 3D World on the Switch.
Oh, the Yoshi yarn? There's a Yoshi one? If there is, then I will play that one before the Kirby one. You see, I, I like games, but I'm not, like, into games. Like, I know a little bit of lore, but I'm not, like, deep lore. You know? Ooh, there is a uh, date. I'll have to look that up later. And, like, put that on my wish list for next year. <laughs> oh, something thumped. Three All Stars is bad? Okay, got it. I won't buy it. Game of Reads with Yana. <laughs> Nothing there. Let's see. I don't think there's anything we really need to get ready for the next week. I think we're good. Got a shad. Got a pike. Green. Get another one in there. I think we are all set. Nothing we- Ooh, I need to buy more feet. I only have 26 left. Sheesh! <laughs> Just two fridge. <laughs> Such a badass dude. Okay, let's save here. <laughs> and up 10k, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna call it a day here, guys. Um, thank you for anyone who came in today. I had a few chatters, and that felt really nice. So thank you. We had Yana show up today. We had Rainy show up. We also had two new follows. We had Glowing Fox and Cupcake. I W N L. <laughs> But thank you to anyone who came in today and chatted. I appreciate you all as always. Um, I'm trying to, like I said earlier, I'm not going to stick to like a specific game on a specific day. I just will like go live and play what I want to play. I think that's what, what I'm going to try and do from, or temporarily rather. Because honestly, Mario Odyssey pissed me off. Like... The darker side made me like mad. <laughs> it, I'm not mad at the game. I'm just mad that like I can't do it. I'm just not good enough yet. So I'll, I'll get back to that one day. I might start a different game. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I don't know. I'll think. Aw, you chilled outside. That's so cute. Get good. I know. I know. I, I'll get good. I, I debated. With the darker side, I was like, I can just record, because in OBS and Twitch Studio, you can just record whatever's on your screen. So I was like, I can just record, and if I do actually beat it, I can just like upload a clip or something and react to that on stream. I might do that. I don't know. But honestly, darker side will just fuck me over. It was really calming. Oh, thank you. I try. I know, I was, I was like so talkative today. I don't know why. I think it's just because like I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm like gonna go take a nap probably. Um, yeah, stream should go as scheduled. I should be back on the Monday to Friday 11 a.m. schedule. So yeah, I will be back tomorrow with I don't know what game yet. Probably Mar Mario Kart or Stardew Valley, honestly, because those are the only two games I want to play. <laughs> but yeah, hope everyone has a great day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.